veterans, oh veterans, don't worry about a team, because every little thing going to be all right, because this message is for you, who, who, veterans, talking about my veterans and Bob Marley, and you know who that is right there, that's Vietnam Charlie, hello world, hello money. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dog cats and squirrels, anybody who might want to listen to an old man like me. This is your boy T.C. Costello. Hello, world. Hello, buddy. Hola, dinero. Hola, mundo. All right, guys, I'm back today like Cook Crack. Um, man, yes, it was an exciting video that we put together for my uncle. Uh, man, you know the Korean vet that's 98 years old? Uh, we put that video together, and I didn't get to tell you the whole thing, right? I want you to enjoy it first, and I want the happiness to be immersed with my family, because it was probably a surprise. I know probably uh, still some of my family haven't got to see this video yet that we'll put together. But that video, if you see my uncle with a microphone, and you see tears with my cousin who's holding him, which is uh, his son, Robert Gilchrist, uh, he was sharing a lot of family stories, a lot of us that had never heard. Uh, he was sharing a lot of memories that uh, a lot of us had never heard before. And man, it was shocking, uh, and it was tearful. It was one of the most powerful family reunions I had ever attended, uh, and my cousin Robert Gilchrist and uh, Maurice uh, Good, they uh, vouched for it, uh, my cousin ran with Wands, just the whole family. Uh, guys, what had really happened, I want to be real quick real fast, is that uh, one of my cousins named Sandra, who's up there in Newark, New Jersey, she was also a social worker like I was, but that was crazy, but we got to meet each other. We was all about the same age. What happened, well, I had an uncle, Johnny Boy, his name was Johnny Boy Reese, and, you know, I stayed with him when I went to school up there in Philadelphia. I might have told you guys in one of my videos where I went to school for a year up in Philadelphia. And I stayed with my Uncle Johnny Boy for some time. I think it was about like six months. He had never told me he had a daughter. Her name was Sandra. And, uh, wow, she came to the family reunion. She found us through uh, 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 the tree, the, 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 the analogy tree or something of that nature. It was one of those trees. And she reached out to one of my cousins named Bombina, and who I was staying with also when I was up in Philadelphia when I was going to school, called Bombina was a lot older than all of us, and she was like another mother to everybody. And particularly me, because I was so bad at school that I was going to a Simon Grass and uh, Dobbins Tech. They kicked me out of both schools, man. Kicked me on back to Florida because I was a uh, hellraiser bringing too much madness up there <laughs> to Philadelphia. So anyway, to make a long story short, so Sandra got hold of Bombina, and the rest is history. So we all got together and had our first uh, family reunion in Tampa, Florida. And man, it was so many cousins that I had, I didn't even know I had. And it was one of those most powerful family reunions that we ever had. So as you see my uncle sitting in the wheelchair with the microphone crying, and my cousin Robert Gilchrist behind him also, uh, giving them a handkerchief to wipe the tears because it was a powerful reunion, man. It was so many untold stories that none of us had ever knew, man. I, it just blew our mind. It was one of the greatest things. So I want to continue that with that story. But guys, the whole purpose is for this young man that we gave that vi uh, video for last night is to get him out to a football game. We want him to be our first beneficiary that we get out to the, uh, well, he lived right down the street in Tampa. Uh, Jim Lee Gilchrist, Korean vet, he lived right down the street from Tampa. We can get him to a, a Buccaneer game. Still got a lot of time left, guys. Uh, we got some donations just now start coming in. And, uh, you know, I'm going to reach out to everybody, man. I'm going to be screaming and hollering. Uh, you're going to probably get tired of hearing my mouth. But I just want to get this thing started, man. I do have a lot of friends, man. I just need your help. I don't care if you put a dollar, two dollars, fifty cent. Every little bit count. Every little bit going to help to get our uncle out to a football game. Because now it's going to be your uncle, too. All my audiences out there, all my Colorado fans, all my vets, all my Colorado vets, and all my soldiers around the country, man. Please, I'm asking you, man, to help me out with this GoFundMe thing. And uh, let's get some of these veterans out to a football game. We get out there and enjoy the football games. And they're in, the, in a way where they can't get out to enjoy the football game. But we can come with our strapping arms and get these guys on a, on a lifter and put them on runways and put them doggone guys on driveways in the motorhomes, man. Let's get this job done, guys, because I know my veterans, man. We're going to get this job done because if I was sitting in that wheelchair knowing I love sports, knowing I want to come to a game among 67,000 people, and nobody sit there caring nothing about me. But see, we out there, man. We out there caring about these type of people because they out there. And all I'm asking is all my soldiers, man, come forward.
Come for a soldier to help me. Let's go get these people to obey. I had to go get the paperwork out of the way first before I could start screaming and hollering. But I promise you, I got the paperwork out of the way. Now, Monday morning, I'm going to be getting a lot of stamps and envelopes, man. And I'm going to be sending all these grants out. I wrote. I, I took my time and put these grants together, man. And I'm starting out with about 10, 11 companies that we're going to go out and get some big donations, you know, for, for our veterans. That's all I want to do, man. That's all I got left to do is take care of my veterans. And I want to get those that can take care of themselves, man. And we all give them a loving hand. And let's get them out to a football game. That's all I ask for my veterans, man. That's all I ask. Veterans, I'm calling you out. Bugle call. Please help me. Help me. Just help me with the GoFundMe. And let's get our veterans to a football game, man. And it start out with my uncle right there, the Korean vet, 98 years old, sitting there in Tampa, man, before he passed away. That's all I ask. Please, let's get it started. Let's get him up. To a football game right there to Tampa Bay Buccaneers football fan. Hey, our University of South Florida, our Florida Gators, our the Florida State Seminoles, our University of Miami, FAU, FIU. I mean, we got boy, we got a lot of schools down there. And I tell you what, my uncle be appreciative of any game that we get him to. You can believe that. Because I tell you, this guy's a sports fanatic like me. And I attend any event, man. And boy, somebody give me a game to go to for free. Ain't going to put some money in my pocket, too. Man, stop playing. Who wouldn't? And then we get them to the football game, man. This the key right here. This the kicker. Veterans, veterans, are you listening? This the kicker. We get them to the football game. And one of the announcers say, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention. Focus all your attention to that south end zone. And down in that south end zone, he said, ladies and gentlemen, give me six, seven thousand dollars, stand to your feet. And make sure you get that veteran down there, Mr. Jimmy Lee Gilchrist. A big round of applause. Thank you for your service. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for what you've done for your family. Thank you for what you've done for this country. Thank you for keeping us safe. And welcome home. Thank you so much, Mr. Jimmy Lee Gilchrist. And man, everybody that's cheering and hollering. And my uncle probably got all kind of tears, because... I know how he loves his football games. I know how he loves his basketball games. I know how he loves his golf, water polo. You name it. If it's the Olympics, he there. <laughs> I'm shouting out to my Uncle Jim Lee, man. We're going to get this thing done. You're going to be the first one, our first recipient. And my veterans going to come through for us, man. You can believe that, man. What's $2 to drop into a GoFundMe, man, to go forward to get this young man to a football game? I count on you, veterans. Come on, man. Let's let's make this thing happen, man. Let's put a smile on one of our veterans' face. And just so happen to be near and dear to him is my uncle, man. Wow. A, a, a Korean vet, 98 years old. All right. So I don't want to keep rumbling, man. I know everybody out there watching football games. And let's thank you how you're watching those games. You are safe. Watching those games while somebody overseas not safe at all, trying to keep us safe, okay? So, guys, just always remember that we got to thank our veterans every single day, man. We got to thank our doctors. We got to thank our nurses, guys. We got to thank our caregivers. I haven't given enough caregivers enough love. All those caregivers out there, man, taking care of all my vets, man. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for you as well. I be talking about my doctors and nurses, but I be forgetting about my caregivers. And I be forgetting about my survivors, too. All my survivors, I'm thinking about you as well. Man, we're going to get this all together, man. We're going to have a nice talk at these stadiums with all our vets, okay? Guys, I don't ramble on enough. I digress. But I just want you to know I love my veterans, man. We're going to have players on runways, and we're going to have motorhomes down driveways and freeways. And we're going to have the motorboat, I mean, those uh, yachts on waterways, man, to pull up to these stadiums for our veterans, man. That's all I ask. Hey, until tomorrow, guys, I'll be back screaming and hollering. For my veterans, man, and for all my veterans sitting out there in no shelters, man, sitting out in no cars, man, with no gas and no heat, man, sitting out there on the corner with a sign, man. Hey, man, I hope they're giving you coats. I know my angels sitting around you all single day, man, because we have to take care of you when you can't even take care of yourself, man. But we're going to be out there with you, man. The angels going to be with you. You can believe that, guy. And so God bless each and every one of you guys. And this is my story before I go. To the world, you might be one person, but to that one person, you just might be their world. And I want to see each and every one of you at the top. I'm going to see each and every one of you over the top. And good night. God bless each and every one of you, man. And come up out your pockets and let's help my uncle get to a football game. Good night. God bless each and every one of you.